Hello everyone, my name is Kwan. This video is about Cadence Q programming. Today's topic is list processing. List data structure is central to skill. If you like to master skill, you need to learn the list data structure and its operation. Most of the material in this video is based on my book Cat Scripting Language. So here is a section of a skill. Then I will follow the material of the books. Uh, there are two ways that you can create a list. The first one is you explicitly type in list and the item inside the parentheses. The second way is you use the back stick. The comma between the item is optional. The first command is car, C-A-R, for current address register. So if you do the car A1, it will return the first item in the list. In this case, M. If I do the car A2, it will return three the next command is CDR CDR return a list so it return the rest of the list except the first item here I do the CDR A1 so it will return on item except the first one in this case is MP a list of big MP if I do the CDR A2, it will return 45x, a list with 45x. To address the uh, list, one way is use the command N, NTH. Here I use NTH1A1, so I extract out the first item. In this case, it's N. Here I extract the second item of A2, 0, 1, 2, so this becomes 5. And the next command is con, construct. Construct is to add an item to a list, in front of a list. So here we have const, and the new item is D, and into A1 list. This is A1 list. So we have in A1 list, we have M and P. So we add in front of the list D. So D is in front of the list. Now, if we want to add uh, a list, then we say list E into a list. So we have basically two dimensional list now. Here we add two, a list with two items in front of A1. This the list of F and G. This is the original A1 list. Now if we want to create every item as a list, then we have to do a list FG here. And also we have the list within the list A1. So we now we have a list within the list for every item. One of the requirement of count is that the second argument has to be a list. If you do something like this, D is not a list. So it will create an error. So on that problem, of course, we put a list D in here, and this is the result. The companion command of cons is append. Append will require two lists, A1 and A2. So here we get A1 and A2, and we say append A1 and A2, and that's the result. If we flatten out the list. 
if you want to preserve the list into a two-dimensional list then you need to have put the list in here this one get error because the argument the two argument of append has to be a list if you put an item like this if you create an error to solve that problem you put a list on here here you put multiple a list with multiple items in there and you can see it flatten it out if you want to preserve the list like this then you put list within the list then you got this In here, you append A, list victim, the list VW. So, you can see that VW is a list and A is still flattened. If you want to get A is a list, then you say list A and then you get the real two dimensional list. Uh, to loop a list, you either use for each or for. For each, then you get the item directly here you say for each k in list a2 then you bring it out if you use for it's an in index so for i from 0 to length of list a1 minus 1 because this is a zero base then you bring you use the n item nth to bring it out Now this command is basically append a1 and a2 then bring it out. In the list there's no range operator so you wanna bring out a range in a list then you need to use a for loop like this for i from the third item to the fourth item then bring it out. Uh, to repeat again here we have two lists a1 and a2 if we do up and a1 and a2 we have flattened list to preserve a list then we have to put list in front of a1 and a2 then we got two dimensional list uh, on the next command we try to merge the two lists together but uh, for example we look take a2 then we loop for every item in a1 if it's not duplicate then we take it for example a is duplicate then we take same thing b c is duplicate we will not take it same thing d so for each item in a1 we check if it's not a member in a2 if that member is not a member a2 then we take it we append it a2 in a list that's why you see here this is uh, a2 then we take two items from list a1 because a and b this is not belong in a2 yet but d and c has so we not we not take it and here we loop it the way around. We have A1 list, then we look at, we loop every item in A2 list. So for every item into A2 list, we check whether that item exists in A1 or not. If not, then we append it. So this is A1, then we append E because E is not belong anywhere in A1. Same thing F, but we will not D and C. Uh, if you look at closely we have to B. so how we solve it uh, one way to solve it is that we create a new list then we, we loop both a1 and a2 we append so we loop both every element in a1 and a2 then we check if it's not a member ax remember ax is 
in the beginning is empty so we keep adding so after we run it then you can see that uh, we, the B duplicate div is gone so that will now be in a duplicate item in the list uh, on the next command we do in intersection if the element exists in both a1 and a2 then we take it so we look for a1 here for each element in a1 if it's a member of a2 then we got we append it so we create a intersection list az here if we bring out we have cd here uh, one of the very important command is setup so setup basically is a filter it's a shortcut of this here we say set off x in a1 so we look for element every item in a1 and we check if it's member of a2 then we take it and the result is cd so this is very shortcut for four loop for each loop here as i said earlier the material for this video is from this book cat scripting language avis kundao Here we do the append list A and list B, and we got flat lid. Here we use the con construct. 